Disclaimer, YouTubers, I forgot to tell you guys in number one, but this goes for number one. This is the charging cable that will actually go with number one, which I will, which I will tell you later on in the video. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to spoil it, but you will know on number one. So I apologize for not explaining it, but here you go. This is what goes with number one. Hello, YouTubers. This is the Brennan Brown's Ritual of Knowledge, and today we're going to be talking about four essential things that you need when you are on a road trip. Now, I'm not recommending this to the driver because if you are a driver, please don't look at this. This is only for people who are either the passenger or who either are in the back seat or either bef in the way back seat. Excuse me for the background noise. If you hear that, that's due to me in a room. So just ignore that loud noise and try to focus on this. So I just want to tell you if you're with a relationship, excuse me, not relationship, act like I never said that, guys and gals. But if you're with either like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever you are, your cousin, your friend, your best friend, whoever you are on a trip with your grandparents, your parents, whoever you're on with. If you are the passenger, I recommend these four essential things that you need in order to really, really enjoy your time on the road. Number one is that you need a portable battery. And to be honest with you, I haven't used it yet, but I have been a past experience user with owning portable batteries two times. And so this is my third time using a portable battery. And this brand is from On. I'm not sponsoring it. It's not sponsored at all. No sponsors. So don't think I'm sponsoring. No. I did just check it out at Walmart. Because like the other day I was with my mother. I was like, hey, let's see if we can go check out portable battery. I was like, yeah, let me get this portable battery. Because who knows whenever I'm on the road. And I just want to just, you know, keep humming on my phone. Because with me being a content creator, a podcaster, an influencer, and other things, I do need to start checking updates through my emails, through my social media accounts, through my podcasting, through this YouTube algorithm, through checking everything. Speaking of about the algorithm, drop me one of these. Make sure you drop me one of those so that the algorithm can kick in and so that you can get more audiences so that you, as an audience of this YouTube channel, can communicate with other people in this community. Because like I told you, we are here to help others and we are here to self-improve in any way. Any way. Which can be, like I said, essential things to carry on the road or even things where it comes to like, I have to motivate you. Where I'm saying like, this is the way, like six signs of how to be motivated, seven signs of how to be a really disciplined person or even... Things for like your body, such as eating foods. We self, we use self improvement on this channel for everything. Sorry for getting off topic, but back to number one. Like I said, use a portal battery. If you want to know more info about this, go check it out at the store, the physical Walmart store, or go to Walmart online. It's called On. If you want to see closer, look at it closer. It's right here. This is it right here. And if you enjoyed, I hope you did. But hey, I don't care. <laughs> Just joking, guys. I do care. I just didn't mean to do it like that. But let's move on to number two, which is... Number two is headphones and earbuds. But let me explain before we just dive in quick. I'm going to be going in-depth briefly on two of these different things so that you don't think I'm confused. Because this will be kind of confusing of how I would say it. So I'll make it more easier for my audience to understand. So let's kick into it. So I recommend headphones, which are way better than earbuds because they will less likely drop out your ears. See, people like think of this trend. It's been like this for years. Like in 2018, earbuds was a thing. In 2019, headphones was a thing. In 2020, earbuds was a thing again. Now back in 2020, 21, look at now. The new trend is you got to have expensive headphones or you got to at least have headphones like mine that I bought from a store. So like I told you, headphones, the reason why I said headphones for the headphone users out there is because it's less likely to get out your ears. You're more able to hear more of the bass and the bass, in my opinion, by my past experience with headphones. Because I have plenty of headphone experiences in the past, such as like kids' kid versions, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, a Batman one I had back then. And real headphones that are like adult normal headphones, such as these. This is my latest one I bought since January, I think, because I was using this one for streaming. And I had a black one that... Kind of got a little bit broken, and I wasn't going to use that for both podcasting and that, but now I have grown this out and used this new one as my new podcasting and Twitch live streaming headphones. But yeah, that's why I said I would recommend using headphones because it's better, and it's more bigger, but it's more easier to use, and more versatile in my opinion. But if you don't always want to go with option one, go with option two, which is... You know, and we're still number two. We're still number two for this section. But the second option is that it is earbuds. 
Yes, earbuds. So yeah. And the reason why I say earbuds is because they're more versatile. Um, I had these earbuds since the same day I had my phone, Google Pixel earbuds, because they go on my Google Pixel phone. I had them since 2018. They're very useful. They give y'all good bass. And with earbuds in general, they're very good, and especially the Bluetooth ones that are hooked to your ears without even having them like this wired. You can have ones that are unwired. Same thing with normal headphones as well, big buffy ones. You can have them wired and wireless. And like I said, earbuds are far better though because they're more versatile to carry. But as in like quality wise, as in hearing sound wise, I think big headphones are better because they're more versatile. But since we are talking about earbuds and plugging in and other things like that, you know, let's just dive on to what we love talking to. Or what we love talking about, which is the Brendan Brown Collections of Facts and Theories podcast show. That's another thing you don't have to even carry. But you can physically have. Number three is that you need to start listening to the Brendan Brown's Collections of Facts and Theories podcast show. Start listening to that while you're on the road. Enjoy some episodes. And if you already listened to all the episodes, well, hey, I'm starting a new podcast soon. But I'm not going to tell you guys. But it's supposed to premiere this Friday. What? It's supposed to premiere this Friday? Yes, 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 yes. Don't tell anyone, podcast listeners. Don't tell anyone, YouTube audiences. But I will have another podcast premiere this Friday. And I will tell y'all what it will be tomorrow. But I'm excited for y'all to hear it. But, like I said, listen to the Brim Brown's Clutches of Facts and Theories podcast show because that's a third essential thing I want you to carry while you're on the road to use or listen to in a way if you're bored or you're just, you're down with looking at your emails or looking at social media or things and you want to look at something that will entertain you through via auditory learning and not looking to listen to my podcast episode. Or why am I even looking down? I should be looking up right here. But yeah, guys, so excuse me for saying four. I meant to actually say five. So we're going over five essential things that we're supposed to go over. So this is the fourth one, then we'll get to the fifth and last one. Sorry, guys. But the fourth one is, since we were just talking about, you know, podcasting, listening, and stuff, checking your emails, I was saying that maybe this could be very valuable for you because you do need a computer in order to really help you carry things and see when it has a computer I like to say if you have a computer this is more for people who got built-in Wi-Fi in their cars which I believe half of America's population doesn't maybe even have Wi-Fi built-in Wi-Fi cars I believe so because if you look at it most cars people who own cars don't really have built-in Wi-Fi so really a computer is essential but like I said that's more for like if you are more of a built-in Wi-Fi car passenger or car driver owner. However, that's why I used to use, uh, you know, this when you're on the go. If you're on the road or just going somewhere, you know. But in general, I know I'm making a bunch of mistakes. Don't think of that as the fourth thing. We were going over four essential stuff. Just think of that as like a bonus or extra. So I did not mean to do that. Let's move on to number four, which is actually the real fourth one and not the fifth one. Which is sunglass collection. Oops. So unfortunately, guys, when I was just doing that little intro, I accidentally actually broke one of my glasses. So if you want to check it out, here it is. So I broke these. These bad boys. These are my favorites. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but I broke them so easily. Like, look at them. Look at them. Like, But yeah, unfortunately, guys, that's just the truth. You do need sunglasses when you're on the road because if you're going in and out, the sun really can get to your eyes and mess you up, just like sunscreen. So yeah, sunglasses are like another protection more for your eyes so that you can less likely get baggy eyes. But let, I'm going to just show you my brief sunglass collection that I still have currently. We currently still have the broke ones, which are still here. And they're still broken. Yeah, my favorite one, which I call them the default, but they're actually called the Spongebob version, I guess, because they do look like the Spongebob one, Spongebob pad ones. Um, these are Spongebob. This is my second favorite, which is called, I don't know what I call this one, but this is my other default one. And, um, yeah, and what I just realized is, is that this is actually the one I think I bought from H&M. So this is another one of my favorite. This is my second favorite. Before the first one I broke, this was my second favorite. So, yeah. This one was somewhere 
It represents South Carolina, where I was born and raised at, where I'm currently still living at now. And, um, yeah, I had this one since I think I was eight or nine. I had this glasses. I remember these ones. They're so nostalgic, but a horrible design. Ugh, I don't know why I have these. These are what I call the Orange Rovers. Remind me of an expensive car. Those Lamborghinis and stuff that are bright colorly orange. That's what it reminds you of. This is my other one. Alrighty. The reason why I like this one is that I never wear it, but it actually goes with my two favorite colors, which is orange and blue, because my two favorite colors are blue and orange, so that's why I really like this one. It's very nostalgic in a way that I just really like it, you know. See? And then last but not least, these are the Charleston Southern University ones I got when I went to Charleston Southern University when I was younger, I believe. Or either I had gotten them by winning something, or either I went to like one of those called the Charleston basketball games, the girls one. I think I went to that, or either, like I said, the first um one, I think I went to College of Charleston when I was younger. I visited there, and they actually gave me one of these glasses, I, or you could have got them for free, I think. But, yeah. So, generally, guys, this was a long video. I believe this could be one of my best videos to laugh at, and one of my best videos are hardworking. But, yeah, those are the four essential things that you need to bring, which are headphones, my podcast, <laughs> the other things I said, such as the sunglasses, which I deliberately broke in mind just now. And finally, your portable chargers. Make sure you bring your portable chargers. And like I said, that bonus one, that's just a bonus. But if you want that bonus one, carry your computer if you have a built-in Wi-Fi car. I'm just warning you, if you do that dumbness and get your car in there and be like, Hey, Brendan, I watched Brendan's video. Brendan, I'll help me. Brendan, why you told me a lie? It's not working. Well, I told you if you have a built-in Wi-Fi car, then your computer can actually work in there. But if it's not built-in Wi-Fi, don't do it.